So let's learn about some of the different edit modes that we can enable on different cells. Any of them that we want, frankly. So let's go ahead and hit Alt F11 and dive into this. Now what I'm going to do for this once again is I'm going to copy and paste this macro. So I'm going to click at the beginning this time. Click right here at the beginning, scroll down, and now all I have to do is hold Shift and click at the end and that will highlight the whole macro that I want. Control C to copy and then click down here and hit Control V to paste. Alright, now we do need to make sure that the name is unique. We always want a unique name for a macro, especially in the same module. So we're going to call this one Edit Modes, Edit Modes 1. We're going to delve into more Edit Modes later, but this time we're going to talk about strings and maybe talk about the Date Picker as an edit type as well. So go to the bottom. Everything looks great. We're going to have the new row column that's invisible, and all the stuff that we already did is great. But what I want to do is whenever we establish a cell and the value therein, what I want to do is I want to use the cell editor, not only the cell value, but we're going to use the cell editor. So you can do it before or after you assign the value. It doesn't matter if it's a line before or a line after, but let's keep these paired together just for our sanity. So dot cell editor, okay, use the dot cell editor, open parentheses, and same deal, H comma, in this case we're dealing column one which is our first name field so the cell editor does the same thing to pinpoint a cell as the cell value and this time we're going to say dot edit type tab and the edit type is going to be equal and look at all these different things that pop up in the Intel sense all right we're not going to make this cell a button or calculator in fact we're going to type ed and there it is the edit type so I'm going to hit tab to autocomplete the edit type is your most a uh, typical one for editing simple strings of text. This allows someone to not only click on the cell and click on the row or the item, but actually they'll be able to click in and type over it and override that, which opens up a whole other bag of worms how you can have change and validation events to trigger whenever somebody edits something. But that's the whole point of having a really cool grid. You just don't want to only sort things and group them. You want to be able to edit things and to send those edits to Excel or to a database or something. All right, so let's make the first two uh, editable. Okay, so I'm going to copy that and then we'll do the same thing here to column number two, which is our last name. So cell editor column two, let's say, is going to be the edit type is going to be the edit type, regular edits. And so if I reran this now, if I reran this, you'll see that now the first name Dan or the name Bob, I could change that to be the word Bobby, Bobby Baker, and then Dan. You could say Danny Strong or whatever you wanted to do there. Anyway, these are now editable and so are the last name fields. So you can sort them and then it'll actually respond to the edits. So if I change this to uh, Zookeeper, and now it's going to sort that uh, differently because this is the last letter of the alphabet. All right, but if you notice on the sample data sheet, none of these edits, of course, have gone back to the original sheet because we never told them to. We simply said, make this editable, and then we'll do something fancier with it later. All right, while we're on the subject of these different edit types, I may as well show you a couple other ones before we continue. Let's talk about the third column here is the column for bonuses. Notice this is numeric. So let's make that a little bit different. Let's open here, I'm going to say dot cell editor, open parentheses, h comma 3, dot edit type equals, let's use the calculator type. And this means this is going to open up a calculator and allow you to use it. You could perhaps add 3%. Or you could multiply that times 10 and then hit enter and it would actually change it. So it uses a real calculator. While we're in the neighborhood, let's go ahead and say dot cell editor h comma 4 dot edit type equals. And this one will use the date type. I'm going to hit tab after I type the word date. So this one will now be a date picker and which obviously everybody knows how to use a date picker. So let's hit run F5 or click the run button. We've just reinitialized all of the data in here. We know that these are editable, but now check these out. Not only can you click here and now have a calculator. So if I said plus 
three. Let's see if that works. What if I click here on this calculator and I say uh, minus 10 equals. Oh, okay. What if I click here and I say plus 100, enter. All right, so now it is an editable field that does mathematics for you instantly. I'm going to click here. I'm, I'm going on a whim here. I haven't played with this. I'm not going to click the drop down. I'm just going to click right here, and I'm going to say plus 10 and hit enter. Yeah, now it's 67. Great, so that's a really nifty field. If you're doing a lot of calculations, right, you can add or multiply by itself. Now, the date picker, as we've seen before, uh, it just kind of works out of the box. So you can go to the next month or the previous month and simply just select a different date. I just selected uh, July 16th instead of July, uh, I think it was 6th. So obviously, these edit types are really, really cool. What's up Excel Ninjas, this is Dan Strong and I want to share with you a really exciting announcement. So today we're launching our advanced grid control course completely free included inside of the Excel Ninja Pro platform. So it is actually included. You can dive in there right now, download the grid and try it out and you can click around view any of well, over a hundred lectures it's over eight and a half hours of content but you can just dive around download the demos and play around with the grid control I made this really cool video background hopefully you're watching that in awe right now boom Excel VBA is fun and this is available in Ninja Pro so go ahead and try it out today uh, we will see you in there and I look forward to any of your questions here on the Facebook platform or on YouTube I'll talk to you all soon